On a different video, I was using this little uh, 555 modules you can get off of eBay. And um, there are different shapes and sizes and stuff, and I've, got, I've had a bunch of them. And I've modified a few that ha to put bigger resist or potentiometers on them so I can grab a hold of them instead of having to go with a little, a little screwdriver one. And um, in the video, I was using this one. Okay, so let's hook him up. And you can see that if I turn the knob, then the frequency changes. But what I discovered was if I change the, get out of the way of the camera, if I change the um, voltage, the, the frequency changes as well, and that shouldn't be. Um, and let me, let me prove that to you. <laughs> okay, let's take out this one. And uh, let's see here, let's put this one in. And here we go, it's oscillating, oscillating is fine, 7.2 kilohertz. And if I change the, the input voltage, 12 volts, 10 volts, 9 volts, the, the frequency doesn't change. And that's the way a 5.5 should work. It just should take a ratio. It shouldn't have to rely on the absolute value. So, so there's something strange about this particular module because all my other modules uh, tests fine. They, 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 they don't do the weird thing. And then I noticed that um, there's actually a difference between these two. These, these, I thought these were the same, but they're different. This one has different layout. And so uh, I'm going to search through my bins and see if I have a bunch of these and throw them out because <laughs> I don't like them. And I'll, uh, I'll convert some. I think I have a bunch of these, and I'll convert some of these with a nice potentiometer on it instead of using these I don't uh, yeah so I've got a little a little box here that says 555 modules so yeah let's go take a look in my box okay so these Oh, there's one. There's one of those bad ones. These look all okay. Oh, there's another bad one. Yeah, those look fine. There's a bad one. There's a bad one. Let's see if the, all the bad ones are bad or not. Or if it's my modification, we'll, 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 we'll check. Oops, you can look at that camera. Um, we'll check one that hasn't been modified yet. So these are all of an old vintage. So. Yeah, let's take those out and try them. Try them out in the circuit here. So, yeah, here's one of those. The other thing is, um, I I did this on a I showed this on a different video. When you get these things, the uh, header is pointed that direction, which doesn't allow you to put it into a PC board or uh, um, proto board, and so. I moved them to the other side. So I still have some of these. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see, I want to confuse this here. All good ones up there, all bad ones down here. Okay, so here's one that I've moved the connector to the bottom, but I haven't changed anything else. So let's, uh, let's put him in. Make sure his pin out the same. There we go. And we will come up here. This one happens to be at 48 hertz, 40, 49 hertz, and then let me change the voltage. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fail, fail, fail. Shoot. All right. Well, lesson learned. Um, if you have 555 modules, you might want to check yours because uh, I have four, five, six, seven. I probably have some others some sitting somewhere else. Now, if you don't really care, you know, if you're just doing a quick test and stuff and it doesn't matter, then maybe they're fine. But um, yeah, I don't think that I want them in my garage. So I don't know if I really want to figure out what's wrong with this. If I want to, do I really want to? I guess for the video, I probably should figure out why these are wired up weird. 
Uh, there's certainly not as many parts. There's more parts on these, so that's probably why they did it. Or they just didn't know what they were doing. Could be. Could be. Shoot. All right. So, uh, yeah. All of these are bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Maybe I can rework them. I don't know. Doesn't. They're so cheap. These are smaller though. <laughs> that's that's a bonus. These are shorter. I don't know. Crud. All right. Um, so this is the circuit you're supposed to have, and I went ahead and traced out the board, and I came up with the same circuit. So their circuit seems to be okay. Um, unless I missed something, I don't know. But it seems to be the same circuit, okay? And this was the variable one in there. R2 was the variable in theirs. Um, so I said, well, maybe they have fake 555s five, five, five that are just really, really bad. So I went ahead and I removed the 555 uh, five, five from this board and I put it on a little adapter board. Uh, let's see if you can see all this down here. Ignore this thing here. Um, there's a, a little, the 555 on an adapter and I've wired up, uh, I've wired up the circuit with, uh, my favorite resistors like 1K, 1K, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, should be fine. Um, and I get oscillation. Okay, great. And then when I change the, uh, voltage, nothing changes. The Frequency doesn't change and the, and the um, duty cycle doesn't change, which it did on the other one. Uh, so there must be something wrong with the board that I just didn't catch the first time. So, um, hmm, I don't know, unless it's completely out of range, like they used values that are completely out of range. I, I've never, <laughs> never seen that possible in a 555 timer circuit before, but it, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. Um, but um, yeah, let me let me start. Now that I've removed the IC, it, it'll be easier for me to look at the traces on this thing. So maybe there's a weird, some weird thing about this board that I, I just don't see yet. So anyway, 555 is a 555. Seems to work just great. All right. Uh, I have determined what was wrong. So pause the video now and write down your answers. What do you think was wrong? What would you have done? What, what would you have been looking for? Have you seen this before? Um, those are great questions. All right. So um, let me show you one that I've fixed. Okay. <clears throat> and so we have nice, it goes up and it goes down. It doesn't change frequency. It doesn't change anything, right? So that's what that's what it's supposed to do. All right. And I have modified three of them now, and I've got three of them to work. All right. What did I do? I replaced the capacitor. All right. So I replaced it. This is a, a point 0.1. It says 104 on it. Measures about maybe 68 nanofarads instead of uh, 100 nanofarads, but okay, fine. It's just a bypass cap, right? And uh, I replaced it with my uh, favorite capacitors, my 0.01, and it worked great. All right, let's pause again. Write down all your comments. You're going to say, wait a minute, it was a 104 and you replaced it with a 103. Well, of course that fixed it. You know, we were out of range, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I did that. I replaced this one with a 0.1. In fact, this one measures 100 nanofarads. Works great. So it was the capacitors themselves. They are, the capacitance is a function of the voltage you put on them to a huge extent. <laughs> I've never seen it before. So comment below if you've seen this before. I've never seen it before. But yeah, that was the only thing that was wrong was just really, really cheesy caps. Um, I, I'm amazed. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So uh, moral of the story is 
check yours if you have any check them for this for this thing like I said they come in different shapes and sizes so uh, these here uh, are are a little bit different the ones that I would what I was playing with have these uh, little rounds around the capacitors this is all surface mount on this board this one has one through hole component everything is surface mount but there's one through hole component and that was this 104 cap so that's what was bad um, there are other varieties. There's a variety like this where it's a whole bunch of jumper blocks where you can change the timing and stuff. You can change the uh, pulse width modulation. You can change the, you know, the duty factor. You can change the frequency. Um, so this one's pretty fancy. They're pretty big to put on your breadboard. They eat up a lot of space. That's why I like, I like these little ones. But uh, yeah, uh, if you got some of these, better go test them. You might not be doing what you think you're doing. Thank you.